What's up everyone, this is Larry with Unique Medical and today I wanted to talk about um, baking soda and its use against viruses. So it's two different types here. One, this is your Arm & Hammer baking soda and this, this is Alka-Seltzer Gold. Um, I learned this information from Dr. Seeds in the International Peptide Society, but I thought that it's easy to use and basic uh, to help you know, during these times that's kind of out of the box and different compared to the herbs and vitamins that most people are talking about. So let's talk about the history. So in 1918, there was this thing called the Spanish flu. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's killed about 20 million people. But in that time, the public health services realized that people with more alkaline blood um, were less susceptible um, and didn't catch it, or if they did, their symptoms were, were much less. So taking that into consideration, you know, and thinking about this virus, it's a no novel virus, so we're not really sure about everything, but we can understand some cell processes and, and how it works. We know that it attaches via a spike protein and to an ACE2 receptor. So when that happens, it invades the cell and then changes the pH, so it causes it to be more acidic. So then when it becomes more acidic, it invades the cell, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Symptoms progress, virus progresses, here we go. Um, there's a lot of different peptides that we use to help the immune system, but not everybody can afford them. And you know, we understand that. So this particular protocol using bicarbonate will make the pH better in a more alkaline state. So if the blood is more alkaline, um, we're hoping that it doesn't, you know, progress the virus further if you catch it, or maybe it can even prevent it. Um, so that's kind of the theory behind it. And they've been using bicarbonate for a long time, especially in the athletic world, um, you know, in, in redox reactions, um, and it helps with sports performance. So overall, baking soda is pretty safe, but if you have hypertension or high blood pressure or heart disease or kidney disease, you're going to want to consult your doc before doing this stuff because it can be harmful if you do too much of it and your blood becomes too alkaline. So there, it's all about balance. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and, and the protocol is as follows. So prophylactically, uh, which means prevention, you'll want to start about a half a teaspoon every two hours, five to six times per day, and that's on day one. So day two, you'll do half a teaspoon every two hours, four times a day. And then on day three, half a teaspoon in the morning, midday, evening, and continue through it that way. Um, you can use this kind of baking soda, which you would take, put into warm water, stir it around, drink it. Or if you're on the go, I typically use the Alka-Seltzer Gold, and I'll pop two of those tabs into a glass, kind of swish it up and chug it, you know, multiple times per day. Now, if you do too much of this stuff, not gonna lie, I've experienced this, it can give you diarrhea, so heads up. Um, it can cause some G GI upset and some pain and some, some diarrhea there, so be careful with it. So this is just a little tidbit, some cheap information on how to maybe protect yourself in an out-of-the-box way. Get out there and get optimized, everybody.